All right, so premiering this week. Yes. This is American Made. Now, I this see is this. yeah, this looks good. This I want to see. This it. looks like one of those um, Tom Cruise vehicles that looks good. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a, great, that's a great way to put it. I feel like Now there's already a review uh, CJ already saw it in in um, Australia, so there's already a review on the site if you want to check it out. So, but I I'm interested in seeing this movie too. I'm also interested in just seeing the way this whole story is portrayed cuz we kind of know the story a little bit, but um, I'm hoping the movie goes into like the details and ins and outs of with this arrangement the CIA made. Well, yeah, it's it's um, it's based on a real guy, uh, and as I've said before, I like that the '80s cocaine crazy era is just fascinating to me. How nuts it is, and so like I watch that show Narcos. I watch a bunch of documentaries. I loved the movie Blow, and to hear this guy's story, and and, and as you said, it's not. It's Doug Lyman is directing it, right? So he's really good at action and um, and like good character arcs. It's not a Tom Cruise lackey. No, it's <laughs> that's the thing. It's not a Tom Cruise movie. It's a Doug right. Lyman movie with Tom Cruise, right? And that's when I think Tom Cruise is at his best, actually. Right. When he doesn't come in and and overtake mummies it, it. mummies. <laughs> when he doesn't <laughs> mummy it up, then I think it. Then I think it's fantastic. Mm. So well, Doug Lyman did Edge of Tomorrow, right? Yeah. So. Which was also a better Tom Cruise movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Although I still think they should have kept the original title, All You Need Is Kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so And also Flatliners remake is also premiering this week. I think Kiefer Sutherland does a cameo in this movie. Uh, but here's the thing. It's a remake of a movie that was never that good in the first place. So you wonder, like, it just what, looks who like is... a fucking Final Destination movie. That's all it looks like to it... me. A bunch of kids running around getting de- getting dead. Well, ultimately, <laughs> that's you know, I mean, Flatliners was like, you know, you see, like, is the miserable did something come back with them when they came back? Well, no, we're gonna try to flatline longer, and you know, it'll push it. But all, like I said, the the original one was not really that well received. Uh, so it was. It, this is one of those head scratchers of like, really, this is what you've chosen to go into the vault and remake? And also too, it's one of those trailers where you go, oh, I just, I saw the whole movie, I get it. Right. Mm-hmm. They all jump too much. Oh, it's crazy, it's, they're getting thing. Oh, bad things start happening. Dead people start coming back right. through. So the... now I can just go in at the last 15 minutes and see what happens. Yeah, just see who dies and who and how you beat back the ghosts. Right. Or do you leave it cliffhanger for a stupid sequel? Or I wonder what the death cure is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, this is how they- What visit. song are they gonna close with? <laughs> Yeah, are there wacky outtakes during the credits? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not interested in this film at all. Me either. Um, so all right. It might be American made. It's American made, kids. Mm-hmm. That's what it's going to be. Or maybe go see. Uh, I want to see that documentary, Dolores, that we talked about, about um, the uh, Dolores Huerta. The, um, yeah, Dolores, that that documentary um, that just came out about uh, yeah the 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 woman that started the in the seventies the farm workers union in California. Oh, okay. Uh, I've seen the trailer. It looks it looks really amazing, and it's like somebody who uh, you know one of the one of the clips in the trailer is somebody going, "It's a travesty," and it shows the sexism that this woman isn't studied in history class mm-hmm. of what she's accomplished and what she's done. So to me, I want to see that movie and I want to I want to talk about it. So right. it's just, I tried to see it yesterday, but it was on like one screen in San Diego and it wasn't at the right time. And so mm-hmm. uh, I want to try to check that out. Mm-hmm.